Hi, I'm Jolene, the conference reporter here at Nasaga, the North American Simulation and Gaming Association. I'm with Muhammad. So, Muhammad, where are you from? I'm from Egypt, Middle East. You came all the way over here to Seattle. Yes, and this is the second year for me, actually. I went here for 2014 and it's now 2015. So, what makes this worth it for you? Um, it's actually an eye-opener for me for uh, this field of simulation gaming in the area of training and development and education. So um, I got a lot of ideas, a lot of connections of the networking from this conference, and I'm trying to be the bridge back to the Middle East. <laughs> That's a long bridge. So, <laughs> so what exactly do you do? Uh, actually, um, our main focus, we have an entity called SEGA Team. SEGA is for Simulation Gaming, uh, Educational Gaming Association. We focus in um, developing human developers. So we coach coaches, train trainers, teach teachers. <laughs> okay, so what, um, from yesterday, what are you going to use? Um, actually, um, I have two big insights from yesterday. Number one is we have a good cooperation model, trying to build a cooperation model with uh, Monica to bring back the gamification uh, concept into Middle East. So um, we are trying to invite her into Middle East for public uh, seminars or even private in corporate or education context. Um, the second is some ideas about the, the last session was very good, that in and out of the box uh, session with the clerk from Taiwan. It's a very good uh, le learning experience and uh, it, it, it opens a lot of insights for me. Okay. And I heard about this guy. So we, we, we've heard amazing things. So I guess we'll follow you. What's, um, what is your website? Uh, the entity is called segateam.com. And my personal digital identity is 2 for 2 M Bahgat, B A H G A T. It's on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and so on. <laughs> my personal identity. Very nice. Well, thanks for coming all the way to Seattle. Thank you. So I'm here with Chuck at Nisaga, and you've been here 11 years, and you have an interesting job. Tell us more about it. Well, I work independently, but I do leadership training, advanced leadership and basic leadership for the Department of State is most of the work I do. People that work at embassies or work for the Department of State in Washington, D.C. Uh, because 11 years, you keep coming back. Why is that? Um, well, it's always nice to see friends like Leslie, John other people, and our discussions always give me new ideas, new skills, new abilities um, that I can use immediately. So, immediately. I'm, yes. So what's, what are a couple of gems, one or two, that, you've, um, that you're have well, planning to implement? Well, I mean, an activity that I use um, quite often is called 35, which is an activity that I got from Tiagi, who's, you know, one of the... What I would say, one of the gurus of Nisaga, you know, one of the elders that really has a lot of knowledge. I use that activity quite often um, with, you know, uh, discussing something with a group, and it's more interactive, but it's called 35. But it's kind of a fun activity using three by five cards. Oh, so you know, high tech. High tech, high tech, yes. So, how has it changed in the last couple of years? How has Nisaga changed? Um, there's more people from academia, from colleges that are involved. Um, it's become um, a little bit more high tech. Yeah, with people that guy over there. Oh, well, and you know John, and then others, and it's just yeah. just a trend, you know. So the saga ebbs and flows with, you know, what's what's important, well, not what's important, but what's being used as far as methodologies and things of that nature. Nice.